County Tourist Development Council members are extending their financial support to Gulf Coast Jam for another three years. The money pays for marketing for the four-day event as well as marketing Panama City Beach. As News 13's Jenna Maddox tells us, every board member was in favor of continuing that partnership. I think the TDC board believes in us. The Tourist Development Council believes in Gulf Coast Jam so much that they partnered with the annual Country Music Festival again, agreeing to pay $375,000 for the event every year for the next three years. Executive producer Rendy Lovelady says the festival's partnership with Visit Panama City Beach has been special since the beginning. The first year we came to town, literally they stepped off in faith and gave us seed money to actually start the festival. So 10 years later, it's changed the relationship from being a seed event to where we're actually partners in marketing the festival along with the beach. Love Lady says 2022's festival was a successful one. He says the biggest highlights include 80,000 people attending in four days and announcing 2023's headliner, Morgan Wallen. VIP tickets have already started to sell out for next year's event. They have to believe in where they send their money and I think that makes a big difference and I think They've seen us grow up. They've seen us uh, be responsible, so to speak. The board voted unanimously to continue the partnership. Gulf Coast Jam would not be Gulf Coast Jam without Panama City Beach. It's one and the same. So getting a three-year commitment is just, it's just, it's humbling because, you know, 10 years later, you just never know what people think. And having the same financial commitment, it's exciting. And looking forward to next year and the next three years. In Panama City Beach, Jenna Maddox, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Well, Bloody also confirmed the Gulf Coast Jam has made a permanent move now from Labor Day weekend to the first weekend in June.